With the participation of an Omani research team, the Mars Analog Field Simulation Experiments, MAD-18, have begun in the desert of Marmul in the Wilaya of Shalim and the Halaniyat Islands in the Dufar Governorate. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi has more details in the following report. In the barren expanse of the Omani Desert, the field crew team of Mars Simulation Mission has landed to start studying equipment, procedures and workflows under Mars analog conditions. Yeah, well, first, this was the first time we went out of the base to do the first scouting and uh, that was the proof that was a good selection of this place for the, for the simulation because that's what we wanted, having a similar topography, so I can say yes, it's similar in the way for some regions in Mars that we might find over there. But it's as well challenging because you have to drive in an uncertain terrain with the sun and it's bringing the challenges as for us in the suit. This is what we want to experience as well. So in that sense, I think the scouting and going out was a success and we have some feedback to report later on to the rest of the team how to proceed the next days. With the participation of two young Omani researchers, the scientific team will conduct 19 experiments. They will test the space suit in an exercise to live just as they would on a mission to Mars. Well, there are always some challenges, definitely, because the space suit is way, weighs above 50 kilos, so we definitely have the challenge of the weight. Also, today we were with the quad, and I had one moment where, which was quite exciting because we went up a ridge, and then it was quite steep, and I could feel the quad like pulling, and, and then on the other side it went quite steep down again. So I, I thought that was quite challenging because you never know on foreign terrain on Mars where you are actually. So it's very important to really investigate the region before going there actually. Robotic rovers will also be used during the mission, aiming to help the researchers get sufficient details about their surroundings on the red planet. We are interested in an autonomous robot that will support the astronauts when they do their duty, daily duty on Mars. So our robot has three main tasks. So first is to make a mapping of the base camp so that the astronauts have an actual map of the environment. The next part is that it um, is able to map or check the radio coverage. So the, the astronauts can check before they get out where they have connection and the rover is telling them where the connection, where they can safely go to. And the last part is that he can do um, bring and fetch tasks. So if the astronauts is out there in the working, checking some stones, uh, the rover can go between the astronauts and the base camp, bring tools, bring water or take samples. It is worth mentioning that the scientific team will enter an isolation phase to replicate their mission to Mars. Their only communication will be with the remote scientific team at the Mission Support Center in Austria. A MADI 18 mission which is taking place here in the desert of Marmul is an attempt to pave the way for future human explorations of the Red Planet. For the Sultanate of Oman Television English News, Saleh Bin Khalfan Rahbi, Dufar, Governorate.